Hello, my name is Tia Sovesi. I'm a master's student at University of Hawaii, and I'm here at my cornfield in Waimanala Research Station. So my research project is looking at the local fertilizer called tankage, which is made from fish and meat meal, and how is it used in this cornfield to get the correct fertilizer rate and the correct timing, either all at once pre-plant or 50% now, 50% later, or maybe even three splits. Um, so here in the field, we have it laid out in four replications. The field is approximately 40 feet wide by 80 feet long. And here is a field diagram. So we have our various treatments, 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, and then they're arranged in a split plot design where the first row is pre-plant, the second row is split, and then each of these blocks is replicated a total of four times. We started this experiment on June 26, planting the corn seeds and then we're collecting data each week to look at what is the leachate in the soil water using this device here, which is a lysimeter. So a lysimeter is just a PVC pipe with a ceramic cup on the end. And when you apply tension with a vacuum pump, that allows the soil water to be collected. And then we take that collected sample back to the lab and use a nitrate and ammonium electrode to look at the nitrogen levels that are going into the soil. We have one of these lysimeters at both 30 centimeters and 60 centimeters below the ground. So we're looking at what's within the root zone of the corn and what is getting below that and could potentially be going to groundwater. So the experiment is almost over now and we're currently collecting data on the yield. Um, there, you can definitely see a trend that the plots with higher nitrogen gave a bigger yield, more corn ears, heavier weight, more kernels, longer ears. And um, this is a corn ear. It's super sweet. Number 10 is the variety that we have planted here and it's really delicious. So hope you get to try some. Thank you.